Aquarius, what's up, y'all? This is going to be your February uh, reading. I just want to thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Um, thank you for being here with me. Thank you for um, subscribing, for liking. Um, I do enjoy your guys' um, comments. I enjoy when I get comments from you guys. Um, also, if you feel like this reading uh, could be a little more specific or you'd like to purchase a personal reading, all of that information will be down below. Um, all right, let's see. What? does the month of February have in store for the collective Aquarius energy? Let's see. We have the beaver. Burst of creativity, engineers, ready to work on something, inventiveness, tenacity, and follow through. You guys could be working on something creative at this time or thinking of a creative way to uh, either manifest something that you're wanting to uh, bring to fruition. Oops, you have the dragon here too. The dragon tried to come out. Um, <clears throat> maybe some of you are born in the year of the dragon. Actually, I think 2024 is the year of the dragon. Hmm. Um, oops. Why does this always happen to me? I swear, I always try to think of like better ways to shuffle where the freaking cards are not flying out of my hand, but these cards always fly out of my hand. It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. Um, so you guys could be working on something when it comes to work, something you probably thought of, or you guys could be creatives, you know, into art into um beauty into uh clothes design um architects of some kind anything like that you guys could be wanting to you know invent something wow look at this as i said beauty the peacock energy so the peacock talks about being beautiful or being viewed as very beautiful having a lot of integrity having a lot of virtue very sophisticated very classy this is how people could be looking at you right now aquas that's beautiful peacocks are beautiful i love peacocks um they're very like center of attention everyone knows when you see a peacock just walking by or like if you driving and you happen to see one it's like look how beautiful they look i mean of course when the when the when the what do you call that the feathers right the the bird's feathers are out that's when it's like wow <laughs> peacocks are really beautiful um and then on the bottom of the deck you have the moth the moth talks about no longer needing validation uh knowing your truth recognizing your self-worth uh, following your truth and letting go of control so that's all really good energy um maybe you guys have recently gone through a circumstance or a situation where you had to find your self-worth you know you had to find it again you had to like realize like you know what i do have a lot to offer like i am worthy you know what i'm saying what I have is, is enough. I mean, if they can't see what I have to be enough, then that's on them. You know what I mean? But I know what I have is definitely enough. It'll be enough for someone, whether that's work or love. You guys are definitely you know, strutting your stuff. <laughs> All right, let's see aquas. There could be some sort of circumstance that does require your follow through, you know, it does require you to pretty much uh, remain consistent. Oh, pride try to come up. <clears throat> All right, we have guidance. 
you guys could be feeling guided to make these changes oh the number 44 that's the number eight eight usually does speak about abundance or karma you know eight is a saturn number um it's like what goes around comes around so this could be you guys recognizing that either you or someone else is receiving karma <laughs> for something um or you guys could even be a little bit you know nervous about karma coming back around wow you have guidance and you have guardianship and on the bottom of the deck you have sagittarius energy a claim the number nine the number nine usually talks about independence um and then you have 28 which is a 10 so that's like completion guardianship i feel like you guys are becoming more strong like you know um knowing your worth standing in your integrity standing in your morals that's what i'm getting heavily and you are looking very attractive doing so i'll tell you that much that's definitely drawing someone in the fact that you do have you know integrity you have a code you have a code that you live by which i feel is very important as a human being we should all have you know a code things that we believe in things that we um that are that we just are really like we view very strongly you know we either stand on it or we don't and if we don't it's like you know who are we like what what do we what do we value <laughs> if we can't even value ourselves right i feel like that's becoming more and more um like it's becoming more of a it's very potent right now in your life needing to stand up for yourself needing to realize your worth needing to see your own beauty you know and be okay with it needing to accept yourself as you are with all that you come with you know the good the bad and the ugly all right let's see what love what love got you looking like aqua's children your love life is being affected by children so you or this person may have children or you guys may have children together um, maybe you know there's been it's been kind of dry because you guys can't really have date night with a bunch of little freaking kids running around <laughs> annoying you talking about mama i'm hungry <laughs> give me some food <laughs> you know listen children and family that's a beautiful thing that is a sole purpose you know but sometimes it's like i just want to get a break and go out and have fun and live a little without my kids <laughs> oh we have healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so maybe you guys are realizing some scars you have oh this could be the the one on the bottom of the deck you've already met the romantic partner you say you seek all right aquarius <laughs> so is it you or this person who has children and that's why you guys are not really able to hang out the way you may want to because you know you gotta care for your children <laughs> waiting for that weekend off right let's see or maybe someone feels like you're the one you know regardless if you have children or not they're just like nope this is my person i'm gonna wait around as long as i have to because i know that this is it this is it for me There could be some realizations about like past traumas past like um you know unfortunate circumstances you have to live through or go through um and it's you know you're feeling like well i have to get over that you know i have to heal from that i have to talk to my family talk to my mom talk to my dad about this ptsd that i have you know to get some answers and to forgive and let go oops <clears throat> all right aquas let's see what else oh we have talking interested awaiting messages text calls email talking more 
Are you talking to someone, texting with someone, DMing with someone? It's like both of you guys are excited to talk. Whenever you do talk, you guys are excited to do so. Ooh, shock. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, transformation. I wonder what that's talking about. Some sort of unexpected change um, or like a, some news that you got recently. Or maybe someone has like changed and is shocking you. Like, wow, this person really did change. They weren't talking shit this time. <laughs> they really are different. They really have leveled up. We have ship. Cutting ties, moving on. Receive what you need, progression and arriving. Moving on. Do you feel like you have to move on from someone? Or does someone feel like they have to move on from you? Um, or are you thinking like you might have to cut ties with someone? Because you weren't really getting the fulfillment that you thought you would with this person. Oh, we have the love card. Unconditional love, self-love, bonus, affection, attraction, and selflessness. That's nice. One may feel like you know an unconditional love towards you aqua wedding as i say that the wedding rings card shows up union marriage soul connection everlasting love and devotion mm -hmm. this is a lot of love going on in this reading this could be the one you have love you have wedding rings all right aquarius let's see the runner Fear of intimacy, running away, intensity, letting go, turmoil, and fleeting. Wow. Now you have engagement ring on the bottom of the deck. Higher commitment, eternity, partnership, union, completion. Wow. There's a lot of marriage on the table here. <laughs> you getting married, Aquarius? Who you marrying? This runner card is throwing me off, though. Fear of intimacy, running away, intensity, letting go. Maybe someone has, like, they feel that intense connection with you, Aqua, and it's scaring them. And they're like, oh, God, I don't know if I could do this. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. They feel like you could be running away or you feel like they're running away because it's really intense between you and them. It's like they feel like, wow, this really could be my person. This could be my lifetime partner. The person that I commit to for the rest of my life. Like, am I really ready for that? You know, I don't want to fuck this up. Let's see. Let's see what the tarot says. See, when the cards, when I'm shuffling the cards and they fall like that on the desk, I don't care. It's when they start falling all over the place, like the floor and all that. <laughs> I'm like, hello? <laughs> Why are you going so far away? All right, let's see. Three of Wands, the Lovers, Gemini Energy, the Six of Swords. Let me just lower them a little bit. Ooh, Death Card, Scorpio, the Ten of Swords. With the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. And the Eight of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles. There's a lot of eights here. Abundance or just lessons being learned <laughs> saturn energy here all right so scorpio and gemini energy has showed itself and sagittarius earlier with the oracle card um hmm. it looks like it looks like there's like some sort of um intense connection here like a very strong it could be a soulmate connection um 
a very strong intense connection very there's a lot of physical chemistry as well as like emotional chemistry um and just uh, like a uh, um you know like i said physical mental and emotional chemistry here it's like you guys click um but i see that this relationship took uh, like some sort of transformation um like there could have been an ending between you and this person at some point uh but it's like someone is choosing to wait for the sh their ships to come in waiting for um the table to turn you know like okay we've went through a lot you know we've we've been through a lot um and i really love you you know like i really unconditionally love you i don't want to just let this go you know what i'm saying it's like we can we we could work this out like this could be worked out but right now i feel like you guys are more um embracing the friendship you know like sending messages to each other talking to each other on like a more like friendly kind of level like being light-hearted you know what i'm saying because it's like neither one of you want to go back to that instability or that constant arguing or the back and forth the you know the nagging the bickering it's like all of that you're just like oh, i want to be done with all that like those cycles i'm i'm done with those cycles like i don't want this to ever go to where it was before and it can't it won't it, I, don't, I feel like this will never go back to what it was because the death card and the ten of swords is there so that's like it, you can never go back Either you're never going to go back to this person, this relationship, because maybe you met someone new, maybe a friend of yours that you're interested in, that you do have that chemistry with, and you're trying to see where it goes with that person. But whoever you felt betrayed from, it's like, we, I could, we're I could, we never going to go back to that. Like, that could never be, you know, my circumstance ever again. So maybe time time has passed. You know, and now it's like you guys are deciding to talk again, um, to communicate, but like communicate in a friendly way. There's still no like, you know, oh, when are we going to get back together? Or like, can I move in? Can I move back in? None of that talk is going on right now. It's more about just like being friends, being lighthearted. That, this could go one or two, one, two ways. Or you recently broke up with someone and you're you're you know healing from the situation but you see that you could never go back to that relationship like that relationship is dead and gone and now you're feel you you have feelings for it could be a friend you know a friend of yours that you're trying to see you know where 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 can this where can this go you know does this person feel the same way i feel about them is it just me <laughs> But it definitely looks like someone is ready to just, you know, move away from anything that was um, in, uh, unstable, anything that was causing a lot of emotional distress, um, like a lot of worrisome energy. Someone is definitely moving away from that. You guys could even be moving, like relocating. I'm going to clarify these cards. Let's see. Three of Wands. The world. Yeah, it's like someone is waiting for this cycle to... Like, for, the, for that cycle to end. To start new. To start fresh. To feel... Um, To reach success with the person that they chose, the person that they feel is the one for them. You have the King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck as well. Um, the King of Pentacles usually is the, the, you know, the king who is committed, very loyal, very stable. Um, let's see. Or maybe someone is waiting to travel. We have the Eight of Swords. But some something is keeping like someone stuck in their head. Someone might be nervous about, okay, I've been let down before in this dynamic. I don't want to be let down again. 
like is waiting around for this person the best route i should be taking is that the choice i should be making you know waiting for the table to turn will the table turn you know in my favor like where we will get along and we'll feel good together you know it's like they don't want to be regretful someone doesn't want to regret making this choice of like trying again they're very scared very hesitant to do anything that they may regret later you know Are we ready to really go down that route again? That go down that road again? I was getting kind of similar energy in the Libra reading. Like someone not wanting to lose their person. And this reading, I'm getting more like someone being hesitant. Like try moving slowly. Like, you know, being lighthearted. Uh, focusing on the friendship before they focus on the romance part of it the love part of it it's like they're nervous they don't want to make a mistake Ooh, the empress with the lovers hmm. someone is like in love with you <laughs> or you could be in love with this person you you find them to be very abundant very wise like every this is your wife basically this is someone that you view as your wife or as your husband um hmm. or there may even be a choice here between someone that you view as your wife or as your partner and then you have someone else who you feel like a more physical chemistry but also you guys you know could share a, an emotional bond as well but it's more physical there's like a, a, a very strong um magnetic attraction between you and the other person but then this empress is like dang but how can i choose <laughs> how can i choose it looks like a tough choice if you ask me i mean not really because the empress like come on she's the fucking empress there's nothing you're gonna get that's better than the empress that's for sure I mean, to each their own, right? Everybody likes what they like. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. Someone you already have, you've already invested in. It's like you know, I, I don't, I, I feel like that's my partner, that's my person. I'm just nervous. I'm nervous to move forward because you know, what about when it starts crashing down, or what if it does crash down again? I'm gonna have to go through all of this all over again. The healing, the you know, uh, detaching, all of that stuff. I have to do it again. It's like, I don't want to do it again. If we cannot work out, just forget it. I, I cut my losses right now. We have the eight of wands. That's a lot of fast energy. That could be communication coming through. You have the eight of wands twice here. The eight of wands, the lovers. Gemini energy is very strong in this reading as well. Um, There could be travel coming up. The magician manifesting. You or your person could be manifesting. The lovers again. <laughs> Choices. Maybe you guys have a choice to make. Ooh, the Ace of Cups. Nice. The Ace of Cups, that talks about new energy. But that's like, like untamable love. Like unconditional love that like, you know like i love you and words can't even describe how or you know why I, i'm just very drawn to you someone may view you like this aquarius the fool someone is being like just not throwing caution to the wind they're just like oh i'm gonna take this chance because i'm so in love the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck ending with the Death card. Look, we have the same lineup right here. Ten of Swords with the Death card ending. There's been an ending. The Ten of Cups. Hmm. There's definitely been some sort of an ending here. 
This could even be about somebody you work with. With that Eight of Pentacles there. Or someone planning a getaway of some sort. Three of Wands again. Waiting for your... Waiting to see, you know, if the choices you've made have been, you know, to your benefit, basically. Like, I know I did the right thing. I'm just waiting to see my return on, you know, making the choices that I made. The High Priestess. Intuition. You could be following your intuition when it comes to a certain person. Or someone is feeling drawn, you know, feeling called to follow their intuition when it comes to you. The Two of Wands, making a choice. Hmm. Are you guys going to be traveling soon? Or planning to travel? Let me see this death card. Nine of Wands. Hmm. With the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. A lot of Wands here. An ending has someone like feeling scared almost. Feeling nervous. Maybe someone um like they could have been telling you, you know, I've changed, I'm different, like I've been, you know, growing, I've been changing. But it's like they, they're scared, they're nervous. Like, okay, if I take this chance with Aquarius, like, am I gonna fuck it up? You know, have I really changed? Like, am I really different? There's just a lot of worrisome energy here. The Page of Swords. Yeah, someone is feeling like they still need to grow more. But of course, they don't want to say that. You have the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. They feel like there's still more growth that needs to be, um, that needs to be had, you know? Um, the Ace of Cups with the Three of Swords and the Three of Cups. Maybe, are you dealing with two different people? Like, is there like a mother or father of your children and then there's someone else that you have on the side? Or like someone you had a long-term relationship with and then someone else on the side could be a friend of yours or... Like something, someone that you know if you embrace... It will cause issues between you and your person, you and your partner. Because you know this person likes you. <laughs> you know this person has other intentions with you. Are you telling your person, your partner? I don't think so. Let me see. The hangman. Looking at the ending differently? Or maybe in the past... Ooh, now you have the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Uh-oh. Well, not uh-oh, but you know what I mean. Like, the, Oof, this is heavy energy. You have the Ace of Wands, the Sun, and the Two of Cups. That's beautiful here. Like someone found their soulmate. And they're extremely happy. And very physically attracted to this person, for sure. With that Ace of Wands. Leo energy is here now. Um, someone might, might, might have felt betrayed because you walked away from them or you chose to end things with them. But now it's like they're looking at it and they're like, wait a minute. Maybe it was best for the connection to have that break, you know, to separate, to not talk anymore. Like there was some sort of benefit that, you know, you guys were able to to see because you guys did take a break or you guys did end it like there could have been a lot of transformation between you and this person you know healing um realizing where you went wrong realizing your triggers seeing what needed to be fixed within yourself not even as a couple just like seeing as individuals like okay i could fix this or this could be better or i really didn't have to overreact due to that why was i triggered you know what i'm saying so a lot of like um transformative energy here let's see oh the chest 
chariot cancer energy now the two of swords on the bottom of the deck and the high priestess hmm the two of swords talks about needing to make a decision but not wanting to make a decision Oh, you have two twos here. Choices. I'm telling you, there's some sort of choice that you have to make, Aquarius. Or someone has to make regarding you and someone they're dealing with. Or this is you needing to make a choice regarding someone you're dealing with and someone else. There's definitely a choice here. Someone is going to be moving ahead. It's like, all right, well, you took too long. <laughs> you took too long to get back to me or to let me know what choice you made. I'm out. I'm following my dreams. I'm going after what I what I want. Someone is definitely following success. Manifesting that. They could be feeling a little, you know, insecure about it, but that happens to everyone, right? You get scared before you take that leap. But you doesn't mean you don't take the leap. It just means you have a moment of, you know, um, fear a moment of hesitancy skepticism especially if you've been through things in the past there's some sort of hidden knowledge or like hidden you have the nine of pentacles and the king of pentacles here the high priestess that talks about like hidden things that are hidden that you can't see right now but definitely pay attention to your intuition, Aqua. When it comes to people, when it comes to your job, when it comes to life in general, pay attention to your intuition. Because you're being divinely guided to make some sort of choice here. Patience, slow down, change your attitude, and clear your mind. Yeah, clearing your mind is going to help you out majorly. Meditate. You got to learn how to meditate. Quiet the mind. You have cracker. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune await. And you have the dragonfly. Another number eight. <laughs> have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit. I'm telling you, there's some sort of lesson is going to be learned here. That's what I'm getting. With all these eights that's coming through, definitely some sort of lesson is coming out. Um... You guys may be walking into a very abundant time in your life where money will be getting right. You know, your money will be improving. The, the company you keep around you will be improving. But there's definitely a choice that needs to be made here. Um, could be regarding a friend and a lover. Something. There's something going on here. Let's see. Let's see what's next for you guys. Aquas. What's next for the Aquarius? What's next? Ace of Pentacles as the first card out. Jeez, the Empress, the Tower, all major are <gasps> The Emperor on the bottom of the deck. Someone is about to be jealous because they're about to see you marry the love of your life. Look at the Tower. This looks like marriage. I'm sorry. This is like an unexpected pro uh, proposal, an unexpected offer, like a grand money offer. Look at these cards. That's beautiful. This is going to be a shocking, like you had the first or one of the first oracle, love oracle cards. Shock, unexpected change. You could get pregnant. You could have, there could be like a pregnancy announced. Um, uh, a proposal, someone asking you to marry them. The emperor and the empress, like, come on. Wow. Very abundant energy here, Aqua. This is beautiful. But it looks like somebody is going to be jealous because of this. Who's going to be jealous? I have no idea. But it looks like somebody will be jealous with that Knight of Cups in reverse. Or someone you reject. Someone you reject. And because of that, they like, damn. 
this fucking fag got my aqua. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, well, guys, this was a beautiful reading. Um, please follow your intuition. If you'd like a personal reading with me, all that information will be left down below. I'm seeing a lot of cancer energy, by the way. Um, all right, so like i said i love you guys very much please comment down below i like to you know hear your stories i like to see if you know, who i'm connecting with um and if you haven't subscribed already be sure to subscribe before you click off my channel if you feel i resonated like the video please guys that helps my channel out a lot um and i i love to connect with you guys so all right until next time aquas i love you bye